I'll be just flat out honest. I never pay attention to politics and never pay attention to the Democratic Convention or Republican. Uh, I always, you know, politics were for old men who cannot do anything else anymore. And so they got a bitch about the guy who runs the country and that they can do it better. And they, you know, everybody's a critic. And uh, I hate that. You know, a great country starts with good people. That's the bottom line. The people make up the country, and the person leading the people sets the temperature and the tone of the people. And Kamala, that smile and her story talking about where she came from, she experienced life like we all did. Not like a Trump guy who was raised in a golden cage, you know. He probably went to school. He did have a driver who drove him to school. You know, we had to walk. The old, I walked 20 miles in the snow. Well, I walked two. And uh, he has, that guy does not have a grasp on real people. He is not a real people person. He's one of those catered to guys who have servants. It's not a real existence. So how can he even know what we, the people, feel like? He can't. He's just used bullying and bluster to get whatever he wanted at the time and Thought he could do whatever he wanted. And now we got somebody who's challenging him that is one of us, one of the people, for the people. And I love it. I love her face. I think she's gorgeous. I, I will not mind watching all of her speeches because it makes you feel good, man. And I saw people commenting, you know, guys always comment, on a woman's looks, even though they're probably the ugliest idiot in the whole room. And, but that's just the way a lot of men are. I'm not. I've always been on the side of women, even in grade school. And you, and you who went to grade school with me would know the guys would always hide the rubber balls so they couldn't have them at playtime because they wanted all the rubber balls. And I would say, hey, they hid them in the closet, and the teacher would thank you, Matt, and give the girls their balls to play with, like for Foursquare or whatever. And uh, I just have always been that way because I was raised by a single working mom. I had an abusive Marine Corps dad. Whoa, big deal. He joined the Marine Corps because he was going to go to jail for murder as a teenager and thought he could escape into the service. And he tried every one of them. Finally, the Marines took him. He forged his mom's name. Yeah. Signed her name to say, oh, he can join. Yeah. And they found out later and sent him home. He redid it on his 17th birthday. So he wouldn't go to jail. But my mom didn't know that when he met him. And uh, she was scared of anyone in a uniform forever. And so she left when I was two, left in the middle of the day. He was probably with his other girlfriends. And uh, never helped out. That's the story of a lot of men. He, he told his commanding officer, I can't afford to pay $25 a month for a kid I didn't want. Yeah, so my mom, and back then, women did not have credit cards. The husband had their credit card, and she was on it. When she tried to get a credit card after working for 10 years and had the money, they wouldn't let her have it in the 70s. No, we can only use it to you if you're married. That's what Trump's planning for the future. Is that the future you want? 
You right there, you. I don't. I've lived it. We had nothing. We had nothing to eat. How did I get so fat? I ate crap. And my mom was skinny. She didn't eat because she fed me instead. I was her priority, and nobody helped her. And so I've always been fighting for the underdog, and that is women, because men are assholes. And I would love to see a black woman be our president, our leader, someone who can help make people better humans. We need that. I did a whole series of videos on how to be a better human before Kamala was going to run. Because we are not in America. Most people in America, I'll tell you the difference. In Europe, you go to a restaurant. You're two people, two people in your party. They seat you at a table of four and if other people come in, they seat people you don't know with you. I loved it. I thought, wow, this is, this is humanity. This is what the human race is all about. Or they'll seat you, your two people, with two other people already at a table. And Americans just don't like that. They don't want to share. They don't want to... The only way... The world can heal itself and can be one. We are one. As if you get to know people you don't know. But it's been pushed so hard in the media in America to be afraid of everybody, to shut them out, to isolate yourself, which only causes more problems. Like when you rode on a train in Europe, somebody would come down, sit down with it and talk and you meet new people. I met so many people that way. And it made me feel good. It restored my faith in humanity. Because I had lost my faith in humanity. And when Trump came around, I totally lost it. I mean, he is the epitome of the worst type of person I could ever be within 20 feet of. I don't like that kind of person. I don't have them in my life. And I don't want him to be the leader of this country. He has no idea, no grasp on reality. And now they got more charges against him. Uh, I mean, the Epstein Island thing is really coming up. All these things. That's going to hurt a lot of people. But it's really going to hurt Trump because he was there all the time. And there are thousands of pictures with him posing with Epstein. He liked 11 or 12-year-old girls. Probably because they didn't know how to say no. But they were prisoners there. They were there against their will. And that's a whole other case. But it made me feel so good to hear the story that they always told you that people can come to America. Kamala told me this, told us this last night in the, the speech. People can come to America and they can become what they put their mind to. Even if they have nothing. If they have nothing, at least if they make an attempt they make the attempt. It's like the old saying I used to hear, well, you can always shoot for Pluto. If you only make it to the moon, you're still an astronaut. But really, vote for Kamala Harris. Do the country a favor. Do not let Donald Trump sway you. He lies all the time. And there's a bunch of dipshit men who just believe everything he says, probably because they are insecure. That's the number one reason. I have found that people who put down gay people are usually closet gays themselves, but they can't come to terms with it, so they have to go the opposite way and hate them because they hate that part of themselves, or they just hate themselves. Life's too short. 
And you'll find this out quick enough. I said all I'm going to say about this. Kamala, I love you. You are the future of us. Please win.